Okay, I'm going to show you how to install custom XMBs onto your PSP. First, you definitely need custom firmware, so don't ask if you need custom firmware or not, because you do. So first, you want to access recovery mode on your PSP. Obviously, if you have custom firmware, you should know how to do this. I'm not going to bother explaining. Uh, go into configuration, and then go to flash zero. Then go connect your PSP to the computer, and connect it to flash zero, so that you have different files. Let me just do that right here. Okay. Just open up the files. And then, here we go. This is my flash zero. You might want to back it up by copying the folders into a different place. Now what you want to do is go on to this website, consolespot.netindex.php, question mark, network equals XMB. It gives you a list and description and pictures of XMBs. Alright. So, what you want to do is find what you like. Alright. So, I guess I like Kingdom Hearts. There should be two to three files. Some of them are... Uh, one of them should say flash zero, or one of them should say CTF. If you don't, uh, CTF is, you know, something else. It's like uh, if you have a folder with VS H menu, but I'll explain that later. Otherwise, click on the other one. It's uh, flash zero. Just click on one. So you click on that. You want to download that. Save to disk. Okay, let's see. Let me just save this. So it'll take, give it a couple minutes to download. Oh crap. Alright, now that down, download's complete. Okay, so you want to extract files. Now inside the file, there should be font, module, resource, or any type of folder. So what you want to do is, this you get active. You have to access the font, because it's font. You want to copy this file, copy it, drag it onto here, or paste it to here. I want you to do that. Press back for both of them. Go to resource. To access the resource folder, you have to click the VSH menu, then resource. Copy all these files, game plugin, save data, system plugin, top menu icon stuff, game boot, all into here. So once you do that, go into module. Uh, for some reason, my thing isn't so module, so put all that to here. Okay, so once you do that, disconnect from your PSP. Turn it off completely, like you would access recovery mode. Now that you've done that, start it back up. And your custom XMB should be there. Have fun with it. In the video description, I will show you the link. Thanks for watching.